Hi, Bo here from Hightech Investment and in today's video we're going to talk yield notes again. It has been a while since we did the review last, so we have to go all the way back to September 2020 here, so a few months back. And uh, that video was all about us surpassing 1000%, so if you would have compounded all your profits since the beginning uh, of yield notes inception. Since then, as you can see, we have uh, done quite well and uh, the profit continues to go up. But that's not the only thing we're going to talk about here today because the Yield Nodes um, project group here and uh, the entire developing team is coming up with the new and interesting stuff for the rest of us to uh, have a look at. And that's what we're going to go over at the same time. And we're going to go into the uh, website also and see exactly how that works. Uh, part of this here is also giving all my kids here a bit of an extra Christmas present that the uh, Yield Notes uh, has actually just made available to us. So let's have a look at all the different aspects that has come out in the last couple of months. The first part here is the October audit uh, that was uh, done uh, now uh, end of October. So, uh, so that's more than a month ago here now. And uh, from what we understand, it's uh, gone quite well. This was the second report of uh, 2021. And uh, both of them can actually be uh, accessible through the uh, Yield Notes site. And I'll show you exactly where that is afterwards. But uh, there was uh, three people that was uh, randomly picked to uh, come to Malta and sit down together with the Woods and uh, have a look in through the uh, ins and outs of Yield Notes just to confirm if uh, this was actually true that all our investment money was uh, put into good use and apparently everybody signed off on this. So um, great news and uh, well done to the uh, entire team. New parts that uh, Yield Nose has here, which we actually also touched a bit on in our latest news report, is a new pay it forward, so which is kind of a gift certificate and a gift certificate is the one I'm going to provide to my kids here today. And you can give that between 100 and 5,000 euros to anyone who wants to have that. All you have to do is get their name, their email address, and then you can write them into Yield Notes. The good part uh, after this is that if they do an additional deposit later on, then you will get the 5% commission of that. Second part here also is uh, USDT deposit that is uh, available. It's still in beta mode, so it might not be available for everybody, but at least we can show you how this works here today also. And from what we hear, there will also be a possibility in the future to take out money again, but we have no dates, no uh, official information on this yet. So uh, that will be later on to come in a, another news report, most probably. The enemy is also very much on the move and they expect a wallet now that covers all the Decenemy coins here by second quarter of 2022. So we're looking forward to that. Obviously you can already keep your Decenemy coins so in the exchanges or in the separate wallets. But obviously it will be very nice here now if we can have everything under one roof. So we're looking forward to that very much too. So we're going to start off here just having a look at the yield note site to see uh, what has changed in there before we go and have a look at the actual profits made. So the first part we get to when we get into uh, yield notes homepage here is the usual logo that we've seen many times before and uh, a little teaser here also. You uh, feel free to have a look at it. Uh, the statistics here and this is the part I want to show you a bit here today so because we have a lot of times here where people um, think that yield notes is all about uh, only bitcoin and nothing else and here also on the site now it clearly states that the uh, revenue generated for november 2021 which was 7.2 percent here says integrated projects contributing to the yield was 19 different projects at that time and that's the reason why you see that despite Bitcoin, uh, as it has gone down here recently, uh, we will still have some decent and good profits. So because it's not only about the uh, Bitcoin uh, going up and down, it's also the different masternoding coins. 
and the coin developments on these coins. So there's a lot of different aspects into this. And that's why obviously um, the setup that the Yield Notes uh, development team has in there is, uh, is doing quite well for us. And obviously uh, Wurz is the big uh, mind mastermind behind this. So um, we, we trust that uh, they continue in, in the same uh, good manner. We can see the average month uh, yield is 26 months, 11%. Uh, we have a slightly different one and we'll show you exactly the average that we have uh, going back all the way uh, from the uh, first day. Um, apart from this, the compounding calculation here is 249%. And again, a few more information about yield notes that you can read more into um, yourself. So we're not going to go into too much detail. Uh, then you will find the different profits in here. So from when they did the development, for when they did the beta testing, and when they did the live operations. And the lowest part we have here was uh, back when we had our COVID issue. So, um, so this goes back to March, so 2020. It was just over 5%. And then we had the, the top jumper here so back in uh, february 2021 at 19.2 percent uh, quite astonishing for that particular month and you can see in the last six seven months we are looking somewhere between seven and ten percent so that has been fairly stable and slightly lower than what we've seen uh, before apart from this the program in a nutshell again here so minimum deposit for the first time is 500 after that you can basically put in whatever you want so now the good part is with the uh, usdt that you can now deposit with instead here so um, it makes um, a better opportunity to put small amounts in where uh, bitcoin uh, fees are simply too high so very good development from the uh, yield loss team side maximum deposit 250,000. Um, if you need to deposit more, just uh, speak to the yield notes team and they will help you out with this. Um, the further profit down here, uh, that is important for all the new ones that doesn't know about this yet, that the project normally uh, pays out somewhere between 5 and 15% and you have a chance to get out. So if the yield notes team um, drops below the 5% mark three uh, consecutive months, then you can basically take your money out again and uh, put them somewhere else. But as you will see here, so uh, this is the development of different types. So it has uh, gold, down Jones, Bitcoin, uh, yield notes here where you basically take out your profit every month and then the yield notes compounded. And you can follow the uh, line all the way up here. And uh, at the end of the day, you can see that the gold is the lowest one, Dow Jones, Bitcoin comes in. So at not, not too bad of a profit, yield notes, even though you only have put 5,000 in. In the last two years, you could have taken more than 18,000 out. But if you would have compounded this in the same period of time, then you would have made 67,000. So uh, it's, the compounding factor is everything in uh, yield notes. So. Uh, you can have a play around with that, but we suggest you go to the uh, uh, website itself where you can put in different amounts. Um, further down to this, they have all the master notes, how it works, that it's not mining and the risk again involved. We have the team here. So with uh, Steve, the CEO and what's the mastermind behind all this master noting and setup. So those are the main two characters. But the rest of the team, you can also find them here on LinkedIn. So if you have to do uh, due diligence, then uh, by all means, go and have a look at these guys. They normally try and make themselves available when, uh, when possible. Testimonials that you can go and have a look through. And uh, this is the uh, network and the yield notes currently consist of all these different uh, parts here now. So this is both uh, exchanges. As you can see here, the uh, Helio Bank is decentralizing decentralized exchange. And again, here also you have different types of um, coins now that they uh, master note. So um, th this is everything that they're involved in. And this seems to keep developing uh, very quickly. So, um, so you can always go in there and see the latest and greatest. 
the different partner programs that you have here. And then the important part here with the frequent asked questions. So exactly uh, a lot of details on yield notes, how they get started, how you can do the different things, what they offer. So go and have a look at this. And then the uh, contact details also that uh, if you have further questions, you can send them an email and they normally reply within 24 hours. So the last part here is the history of yield notes. And there's actually a little link here. So if you're interested in the past history of that as part of your due diligence, you can go there and um, have a trip down memory lane from there. So um, to see how they all started and all the information from uh, back then. So let's have a quick look at uh, my Excel here. I'll show you um, how we've done and we can afterwards see if this matches up with the yield notes. So this is a very simple Excel. So this is going all the way back to August uh, 2019. So uh, when this was in development first and you can see the various months go all the way across the screen here and then also the different uh, let's say timelines so from yield load was in so the first part on the development the second part for the beta test and then after that the green live operations and in here we basically put all the results from the the individual months so how they uh, came across and we can see that after the first year so with yield notes which was obviously not a full year but only um, five months that uh, we made a profit there of 56.3 percent on the second year so we did 121.3 percent if you were in from the beginning so and at the moment here so we had 116.7 percent so again, it looks fairly stable and it looks like we're going to get uh, very close to last year's results. The bottom line you have here is the average part. Uh, so basically it takes whatever we have up here and then tells us what's the average. That way we can see if the profits is going up and down over time. And I just highlighted the, uh, the bottom average parts here was 10.3% and happened uh, in the mid of the year in 2020 so the height at the time here also was still part of the beta testing uh, was 11.5 uh, percent uh, obviously the interesting part is the recent part so um, last year so uh, in december we were at 10.6 percent on the average and we're still a month away here but currently we're back at 10.6 so during the year, uh, the average went a bit up and definitely because of the 19.2% in February. So it made a huge jump. Uh, after that, obviously, it has been lower again here. But uh, we are still on the average uh, over 10%. So um, over the entire year, it looks like we are pretty much uh, status quo. So, um, so that's just to give you a bit of background that uh, it hasn't dropped that badly yet. Uh, we do expect so the profits over time and that's also what steve the ceo has said the profit over time will uh, diminish so um, as this becomes you know more public so um, and um, then obviously it won't disappear overnight but then it's up to you if you want to continue to be in this or if you find other projects that are more interesting but uh, for now very good very stable profit and we don't see any dip in the uh, profit um, sort of anytime soon. So let's uh, log into the uh, yield load site and see exactly the profit since uh, last time we were in. We're now in on the yield notes uh, membership page. So we're starting off on the dashboard up here. So we can see the master note balance is uh, 39,860 at the moment, no withdrawals. And then this is the return on the investment since we started off. So more than 25,000. So that means that we have made a lot more profit than uh, we ever put in. So uh, quite happy with this. Previous month's profit. Uh, this one seems to be a bit off. It should be October. So October was 10.1%. So, but it doesn't change the fact that for November we were at 7.2%. So you'll be able to see the uh, last three months profit that you have here so um, 
And that's pretty much it. You can obviously use the deposit and redraw buttons or we can work our way through the menu as we have over here. So on the report side again, we see the same master noting setup. The detailed report that we have in here is the net profit that we have uh, made, 24,700. The average note balance and then the font uh, up until now. So 2021 return is the same as we have in the Excel I uh, showed you earlier. So 116.7% and the previous year. So it was 124.3. So um, it looks like a very similar year again here. So total deposits and the deposit that we have is because we have been compounding. So um, the different profits. So it's our initial uh, deposits plus the uh, profits. So total withdrawal is only been 1000, which we used for SAP coins at the time and then some affiliate commission along the way. So the 5% that uh, yield notes uh, provides. You have the graphical part and we can see a good steady progress month after month. So um, last month was a good month again, 3,400. And this particular month, it's a bit lower, 2,600, but uh, still nice percentages. All this is also presented again in uh, just text form here. Uh, month by month in uh, the profits and the master node balance uh, along the way. The red ones here is if there's been a change in your account. So that would normally mean that if you have either withdrawn on the emergency side of things, I'll show you that in a sec, or if you have deposited in the middle of the month, so you uh, have uh, slightly less of a profit. And that's the reason why it's just highlighting you here that uh, that is the case. Uh, we also have the PDF profit report and those you can now print out month by month. So just click on these and you can use them for tax purposes and keep an eye on all your uh, profits. On the deposit side, again, the top part here, nothing really changes for this. So what we have here now is changed a bit. So previously it was only Bitcoin that we had. And if you wanted to have a deposit address, you basically show and generate the Bitcoin address down here. That will be good for a couple of weeks max. And then you need to obtain a new one. So always, anytime you uh, transfer money to yield notes, always go in here, confirm that it is a correct address because otherwise the money could be lost forever. The good part here is we have Tether USDT on the TRC20 network. So, and that one is uh, very cheap. So normally just $1 for any transfer, no matter how much money we're talking about here. So, and um, what I've done is basically you click this one here and then this address will, uh, will show up and uh, don't copy paste it like I just did here, but you go here to make sure that you have everything in there. It says address copied and then you go back to your exchange and then transfer the money from there. And uh, that's pretty much it. So at the bottom here is the deposit history. And as you can see, we have quite a bit of history now. It comes quite interesting, but we're going to jump to this page here first. So this is our initial deposit. So back with um, in 2020, November, so um, 2020. So we've been in there for more than a year. They were master noted since 2nd of December. And then again here, the green ones up here are basically highlight that uh, the money has been tied up for the first six months, 180 days. And after that, you can take your profits out again. So you can follow the part here. So as we go up, we can see that we had, uh, this is the compounding part. So this is the profit that we put back into the system again. And uh, this was done back uh, the 1st of June and it was just released 28th of November. So we can actually take that out too. This is just the transfer, so nothing there. And this particular one we're compounding also uh, the profit of just over 2000 was in July. And that will be released to us on the 28th of December. And then you can take that out too. 
So uh, easy to always keep an eye on uh, what you have put in, whatever you compounded. So um, very easy setup. So let's go to the uh, withdrawal section here. And if you remember the, what I just highlighted to you before regarding uh, the profit is not exactly matching. So um, with the little red dots that we had and that's you can go in and do a emergency withdrawal here. So this is if you need the, the money uh, straight away and it says within 48 hours. The catch here is that because that this is very inconvenient for the uh, yield notes team so um, and they are quite committed to, to the profits here of course then they don't have the money lying around so everything is, is working as optimum as they can do and that means that you will have to pay 25% to get your money out so obviously if you need it you need it but uh, be careful with this one here as uh, obviously a large part of the profit will 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 be gone on the withdrawal part you still have two options and this is where we hope obviously that the USDT will be an option in the future so now that we have it so for the deposit side withdrawal if you have a Bitcoin address here again you go in and you click this particular one and then you can put it in you can see down here we already have a SAP master wallet and you do the same one over here and with the Sapphire you can also download the Sapphire wallet here so um, and put it in or you can go directly to an exchange so if, if that's what you prefer instead the compounding calculator is here as you can see ours is still set to 100% but it goes in increments down to zero at 10% uh, each so definitely a possibility and here you can see the green numbers that we had earlier on it's basically reflected over in this amount here so this is currently what we can take out of yield notes so um, and when can we do that well if you look at the one that we have here and this is updated here lately saying here the request has to be in before the 15th of the month so that means normally the best time to do this is from 1st of December until 15th of December or alternately you can uh, keep compounding as, uh, as we do at the moment uh, the uh, then the uh, processing of the uh, payments here will be done for uh, SAP or Sapphire on the 4th of the month and with Bitcoin it's going to be on the 8th of the month so just remember that there is uh, a bit of a timeline for, for when these things uh, go through so there's about uh, three weeks waiting time let's have a look at the uh, new part so the new part is pay it forward and pay it forward is actually under the affiliate part and that's because it works a bit like a gift card so about the function here it says it's the possibility here to um, provide a gift to a person here with a deposit size choose of minimum 100 euros maximum 5000 and then that deposit will be frozen on the withdrawal balance part so it will be frozen up until three days so if they don't use it then uh, that will go back you have an opportunity here so um, also to invite up to five invitees at the at all times so uh, once somebody has uh, approved it or accepted it so or even declined it then uh, you can put new ones in here so this is what I'm gonna do as an extra Christmas present for my uh, kids so the idea here is you put the amount in that you want to provide with them the uh, invitees names and their email address and basically just send them an invite link and that link will be good for three days so where they can claim the deposit their gift card and otherwise it runs out and you can obviously always do it again so if they missed it so all the names will be at the bottom here so with the email and the amounts that you have in so so let me do this before we go um, any further one important step uh, before we can actually do this here um, better tell you now so that you need to have a bit of money ready for this because you cannot use the 
money that is already working within uh, yield notes. So um, let's go back for a second here, just on the withdrawal part. And then you have to go down here for the transfer note balance. And this is the money that you can actually take out. And in order to transfer them up to the withdrawable you see here, so you need to add it in. So if we're giving a couple of gift cards, so we fill it in with what we want to transfer. So in this particular case, it's uh, four times uh, 100 on the gift cards. Click the transfer part here. And we put in the six digit code on the authenticator. And then you just need to approve the money here. So um, do not withdraw uh, automatic credit to withdrawal balance first. And then you basically hit submit. So now you have a transfer pending. And shortly you should be able to see a withdrawal balance up here. So about uh, 50 minutes has uh, gone by and we can now see the uh, 400 euros we put into the withdrawal part. It has come through so we got an email saying that this was going to happen and then we've been waiting for the uh, confirmation and we just got the email here now. So 50 minutes, not too bad. So as always, uh, Yelno's team is on top of it. And what we have to do now is basically go back to the affiliate part and go to the paid forward here and now we're going to put in uh, again the amount individual amounts for the invites names emails so let me just do this and uh, we'll be right back so now that the christmas presents are all wrapped up um, you can now see them below here so you're getting also an email for each individual one and uh, obviously you need to confirm also with your two-factor authentication for each and every one so there's a good uh, sort of record of every single uh, statement or every single uh, gift that you have given here and as you can see below it's the name uh, the email the amount that you have uh, put aside for this as i said it hasn't been taken off yet so because they still need to confirm this and then it will tell you also exactly when this is gonna expire so and then when they were invited and after that uh, three days so 72 hours uh, they will drop off here or they will be your new affiliates so um, that's how simple it is and as i said everything is very well documented at the same time so uh, let's go through the last parts so with this now done, we just have a few more spots so to go through here. And one of the items is the uh, audit that we also touched on a bit earlier on in the video here. So we can see the previous audit was here from the first quarter back in 2021. Second on-site quarter here in Malta was on the 30 and 31st October. You basically click this one and then you have access to the uh, audit report so um, and the different people that also attended into this so with that a extra couple of pictures from the office from uh, malta and the signed statements that uh, they have here so um, easy open straightforward as always with yield notes so um, quite happy with this so um, go and have a look at the orders that you have here and uh, familiarize yourself with it as part of uh, the normal due diligence so if you're already in with deal notes then definitely it's uh, also good reading the last part that i wanted to touch on here is the mails archive so obviously um, we, we get emails from uh, yield notes every single time but uh, it's very nice to have all the yield notes in one place and the team has basically made a change also in here so you can go and have a look at all the emails yield notes uh, sent to you over time that way you don't have to run through your normal emails um, they, that they will be hiding in there yeah so very good um, changes for sure so um, and we'll see what comes next year but definitely i believe it's going to be uh, another good year from from yield notes uh, especially on the decennium side also they are expanding into a lot of new areas and uh, we can't wait to to see what they're going to do with this so 
Thank you for this time and uh, most probably the next yield loss review will be in the first quarter of uh, 2022. So until then, I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.